The Supreme Court decided Roe v. Wade in January 1973, removing most restrictions on abortion. President Nixon told his special counsel, Chuck Colson, that even though he believed abortion encouraged permissiveness, it shouldn't always be out of the question. In another of the candid and sometimes coarse conversations released today, the president muses about anti-Semitism. He's talking to evangelist Billy Graham and worries about reaction to the Washington visit of Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir because Israel has just shot down a Libyan passenger plane. This anti-Semitism is more, stronger than we think, you know. They just, it's, it's unfortunate, but this has happened to the Jews. It happened in Spain. It's happened in Germany. It's happening. And now it's going to happen in America if these people don't start behaving. It may be they have a death wish. You know, that's been the problems with our Jewish friends for centuries. Well, they've always been, through the Bible at least, uh, God's timepiece, and he has judged them from generation to generation yeah. and, uh, and yet used them, and they've kept their identity. On Inauguration Day, 1973, right on the phone with Colson, President Nixon, ruthlessly pragmatic, justifies the Christmas bombing of Hanoi as necessary to break the deadlock in the Paris peace talks. We all know that this whole, you know, uh, almost hysteria about the bombing has been a media created damn thing. Totally. But the, when you come down to it, the bombing is over. We're going back to the table and we're going to have an agreement. South Vietnam's president, Nguyen Ban Thu, feared the peace deal would be the end of South Vietnam. Alexander Haig reported to the president. He basically feels he's uh, been screwed. Uh, he knows he has no alternative. Uh, yeah. And he's yeah. going to come along. He told me he was. And he's got to he's got to comply or his ass. It's his ass, not ours this yeah. time. The recordings Richard Nixon intended for his own use continue to tell history, his uncensored story, with thousands of hours yet to come from the Nixon Library. Bill Plant, CBS News, the White House.